Power of Evil gets a lot of resources, and I've seen him do pretty well in some of their matches. I think he's generally a pretty good player, and he's always been talked about as one of the top European mids. So, yeah, I think we have to keep an eye on mid for sure. And their bot lane, I think Ignar is a really good playmaker. He was actually supposed to be our support on TSM, but Biofrost like, beat him out in the tryout. So, I know his playstyle a little bit since I scrimmed with him in Korea. And he's a really aggressive, really good roaming player. Um, I think he's really good playing hook champions. And yeah, Misfits overall, I think with those two strengths in mind, we should be able to play smart against them. Uh, just play well around mid and support, and we'll be fine. Taking a look at the lineups. It's Alfari in the top lane, Maxlor in the jungle, Power of Evil mid, Hansama, AD carry, support Ignar, and Coach Hussein. And when we heard from Doublelift, who was he talking about? He was talking about the mid laner, he was talking about the support player. He said, we need to keep eyes on mid, which is exactly in line with what you'll have to do against Power of Evil with this LeBlanc. With those picks, LeBlanc for Syndra, eyes are going to be on mid. Will Misfits break that bottom lane open, which they're going to try to do here. They poked him for so long, and they know the heal is down. TSM low on health, no heal available. Shield coming down on the devil, and, but Max Lore bops him. They walk away with the first blood. Misfits, we talked about how back in the day when they first joined the European LCS, like to play around bot lane, and double if plays a little too greedy. He's gone for a very early Bramble Vest to make the laning phase a little bit easier, but he's actually ahead of Monza in terms of the 1v1. Yeah, could be coming. Nice dodge. Oh, Max Lord trying to knock Spin Scaren back. Spin is low. He's going to be taken down here. Spin Scaren popped by Power of Evil. Hans Hammer and Igna already a big trade. Oh, TSM's going to fall into the same trap twice. Max Lord coming down, moving around, and Hans Sama takes the kill on the double lift. Here comes Power of Evil. going to be taken down next. Yup, 4 to 0 for Misfits. Such a classic Misfits play. We haven't seen this from them in so long, but it feels like only yesterday that they're able to pull this one off. 4 to 0 in favor of Misfits, and they're off to a fantastic start. And I do wonder if we're going to see in a priority around this Infernal Drake. You can see Bjergsen's hoping to go on posture a little bit. Power of Evil snuck into this project. This is a very good sneak. Bjergsen doesn't have his flash. Remember, he had to use it last time, and now he's going to be jumped on the damage coming through, but Biofrost keeps him alive! Somehow! Bjergsen walks away! Fantastic play from Bjergsen. This is why he's known as a legend, getting an amazing outplay, getting two kills onto the two members of Misfits, and now their eyes are on the dragon. The story kind of being told as the solo lanes have sacrificed themselves for bottom lane control. Hauntzer now going to be jumped on that three versus one. Not a situation that even a big old croc can get himself out of. Tries to, but can't quite do it. He will make Shen use the standing knife. Yeah, trades his flash for a Shen ultimate, really trying to pull off those quick Renekton combos that are possible with the Titanic Hydra to threaten that kill. I don't think he actually would have killed, but the gusto with which he went for it forced the Shen ultimate. TSM willing to call the bluff on this one, say, all right, you want to get two Infernal Drakes? Committing. We're going for this one. TP going to be used here as well, but Misfits already have the Drake. TSM is not doing this exceptionally quickly right now. Double lift over the wall with the Fire Lane They've Barrage. Baron still dropping rapidly. Misfits not aware of TSM. 23 minute Baron. What was that play? TSM, they just walked straight towards the Baron. We were praising Misfits for their vision, but they had no vision around that Baron area knows that's going to be a juicy pinata to go chase after. But the... Game ASAP. I'm just... I'm flabbergasted. Boys, I, I just... I cannot <laughs> believe the Misfits would just leave that exposed. They're, they're usually a team that around the 20-minute mark... Trying to push up middle, but Misfits doing a good job preventing that from working right now. TSM now appears to be trying to set a trap or a pick in the enemy jungle. Clearing out some wards as they go. Spin Scare on the front line. Bjergsen looking to find a stun. Not going to be Huge doing all. it, but now Bjergsen and the rest of TSM have got to be careful. They said Juani Alti not finding its mark onto anyone. Bjergsen below half spin as well. Double lift takes out the red buff. Misfits can't quite collapse just yet, but Power of Evil is yeah. coming around from the flank. Misfits still may want to take this fight. Remember, the Sejuani has no ultimate. Where's the rest of the engage? It's on his Shen. He's going to come in. They want to deliver. Power of Evil trying to get in there as well. Spin Scarin now going to be taken low. He's the target first and foremost, trying to get himself away. Ignar going to fall to double lift. And TSM turning this one around as Hauntzer continues to apply the damage. Grabbing the kill onto Alfari. That was so close to being an initiation, but Power of Evil snapped back on the block as Alfari goes in. And the initiation was botched from there. TSM get the kills. And boy, are they sticking around at low health. 
Power of Evil has the power to maybe make something happen here. This is what LeBlanc is born to do, but it's just so risky. TSM recognizes that. They back themselves Hot away. Sama. Double lift, no mana, almost no health. PoE still looking to maybe find that instant pop on the TSM line. Another storm comes out just to find them in the brush. TSM still moving exactly as a unit, getting themselves away. Power of Evil looking for the damage onto Haunter or Bjergs and splits his fire a little bit. Haunter nearly taking out the heal to keep them alive to the ignite, but it is not enough. Wow, such teamwork attempt there by TSM to all kind of save each other as Misfits go in there, but there were so many missed opportunities yeah. for Misfits during that fight as TSM did everything in their power to navigate out of that flank that Misfits managed to find. They have control of Baron. Look at the vision from Misfits. It's not very much. Also, their far side totem is on cooldown already, so they don't have a safe way of getting that vision back. TSM continuing to defend this brush. We have seen so many fights at Worlds 2017 so far around this spot. And it looks like we're gonna get another one. Initiation from Max Floor. TSM having to stay alive. Haunts are trying to zone Power of Evil away. But TSM health bars are being destroyed. They have to back away from this one. The Featherstorm flies. And Biofrost gonna be jumped on Ooh. next. Power of Evil barely walking away. Flash into the taunt. They've got the lockdown. Bjergsen's out of there and Hot Sama writes his death note as the rest of TSM have to escape. Oh, they want so much more. They are not stopping this chase. Monster trying to return some damage, wants to punish this chase from Misfits, but they're so far ahead in terms of health. TSM has nothing they can do. Red turret destroyed. You can see it on your screen. That's going to be number four for Misfits. Sama running away off to the side. Svinskaren not really finding anybody with the flail. This is super smart by Misfits right now, and TSM is forced into forcing Baron. Otherwise, the Shen's gonna take an inhibitor. They just gotta go and try to fight. Here we go. Svinskaren will be waiting over the wall. Finds some stuns only on to Maxlor, though. That's the front line. They're Didn't still gonna make him very low. Hanser looking to find his way on to Hansama, but the feathers fly, and he's forced to retreat. The Feathers will stay down. He doesn't recall them with the Blade Caller just yet. TSM now backing themselves away. Hauntzer, no ulti. TSM back onto the Baron. They're back on the Baron, but they accomplish the goal of getting the Shun Ultimate out. They feel so confident in this play. Incredibly risky. Since Garen tanking the Baron, losing a lot of his health to this one. Bjergsen low on mana. He can't contribute very well to this fight. Power of Evil, more chains coming through, but TSM backs away. So many ultimates are unavailable for TSM. They don't feel confident to stick enough in this fight. And Hansom are going to quickly try to punish. Misfits playing around this Baron beautifully. And they're forcing TSM back. Oh no, TSM, they're back on the Baron! They're TSM trying to fake out. It. They're trying to go for the Baron yet again. Alfari on the front line. Misfits does not have everyone around. Rockets is in base. And Maxlor are back in the base. TSM may still be able to secure this. Alfari trying to buy the time, but double lift is gone! The Baron's secured by TSM, but they still lose one. What it to. an aggressive call. The GA pops up. It's the second death. And now what do they do with 54 seconds, 36 seconds? Those are the death timers for TSM. TSM with the quick decision making, but Misfits coming out with the team fight wins. Now TSM, they're concerned about the Elder. They do use the Farsight into the pit. No flash on Bjergsen. Wherever he goes, he's in danger. Power of Evil jumps out to the vision. Double if the one who's caught out yet again, caught it up and brought down Svenskaren having to run, but he still should be taken down here. Four, make it five versus one. Think about who just died for TSM. That's double one of the big carries of the team has been taken out. Bjergsen still has no flash, and Misfits have all five members. Going for the win. If Bjergsen wants to make a name for himself as a legend, this is the time to do it. Only him and the Nexus stand in the way. One Nexus turret gone. TSM have to make their fight with the flash into the taunt, able to find Bjergsen. He's gonna go down soon. He grabs the kill into POE, but he still falls. Two versus four. Misfits still looking to end it. Hunter needs to find his way onto Hunt Sama, but can't quite do it. Another big taunt from Alfari to lock him down. But Alfari drops instead. Hunt Sama on the run. Nexus turret still standing. TSM reinforcements arrive, and they hold that Nexus. Weren't very good at late game team fighting. This wasn't where the team shined. This is where TSM was supposed to be in their element, but Misfits are going right there with them. It's the block Shen composition. They've been winning fights because they've gotten amazing initiations from Maxwell. Maxlor doing more than his fair share of the work this game, as now Hansa comes in, trying to make the move on to Power of Evil. Svenskaren getting down a stun, throwing out another one with the Glacial Prison. Alfari makes his way in, Spirit's Refuge to provide some protection. Hansama gonna be taken very low. Double lift having the Redemption come down onto him. Massive stuns from Bjergsen. Redemption 
keeps the Misfits players in good enough shape to potentially continue here. Power of Evil, the one who's isolated, but he's also the one with all the mobility. Gets away just fine. TSM now with control over the Baron area themselves. They've got the control over the river. They're putting down the vision, sweeping out the Misfits vision. But they don't have control over the waves. The top and bot lanes are massive, so TSM is in a really tough position here, trying to get control of the mini waves back, and Misfits is pressuring them off. No ulti available right now, no summoner spells either. Look at those top waves yeah. you can see in the top lane and the bot. Massive stacks for Misfits. Yeah, the top wave has one cannon, the bottom lane has three. So both of those turrets have the real potential of going down if TSM doesn't answer. And yet again, TSM is forced to make a decision. Misfits put them in this spot time and time again. Yeah, go. And now they're going. Do this could or very die. well determine the outcome of the game. TSM on the Baron, not taking it down quickly. Saving abilities, saving cooldowns for the upcoming fight. Baron down to half. TSM still looking for more. Sejuani ulti comes out. Alfari the target. Spirit's Refuge keeping him alive. But Double Lift is down! And Bjergsen runs from Maxlor as Misfits look to clean up the rest of TSM and end this game! Power of Evil found the chain onto Double Lift. The barrier wasn't enough. They killed three. The minions are already in place for Misfits to end this game. Misfits know they can win this one. Biofrost can try to waste as much time as he likes. Hauntzer respawns from the GA. Alfari grabs the kill, and Misfits push up mid. Misfits, the underdogs in this game. No one expected anything, but they bit hard down onto TSM. They're going to get the upset win. They're going to get the game. They stop TSM from having the perfect week one in groups. They grab the ace at the end. This team was excited to play against TSM. They were excited at the prospect of shutting up those chants. And now they did it. And to Max Lore's point, he did beat TSM faster than he beat Flash Wolves by a whole minute. What a showing from the number two team from Europe against America's number one representative. Awesome team fighting, awesome playmaking. They controlled the game well. And for Misfits to play around that Baron so beautifully, we finally saw them in their element. This was something that so many analysts talked about, how this is a team that relied a lot on Baron. This is a team that often played around Baron. They lost two Barons at the start of this game, and then finally, around the third one, the crucial one, they had the side lane set up. They had control, the vision around that area. They reset the fight well, and they get themselves their second win of the group. And when we talked about Group D, the so-called group of life with no Korean team, Definitely with the man himself, uh, who seems to always do it versus Bjergsen and TSM, a long history and more history in the making. But why is it that you always find those openings when it is versus TSM to start? Uh, I don't know. It's just like every time I meet Bjergsen, I feel like we both want to win so badly. It's like so intense. Every time it's uh, we kind of play Assassin against Assassin or like always like these kill mages in mid lane. And it's just always really fun to face TSM and Bjergsen especially. And I don't know. It's just... Uh, I just go really confident into the games because every day my teammates remind me that I'm the kryptonite of TSM. So uh, I can just go into the games uh, with a huge confidence boost. Yeah, TSM's kryptonite. Uh, when you walked off the stairs here, you had a huge smile. And I could see why this is a huge feat for you guys, but it still was a very hard game to win. Azale talked about how it was also a difficult composition. So what do you think it came down to for you guys to get to victory today? Well, so I feel like we executed our team composition really good. Uh, we could see clearly the matchup in mid lane that I need, I'm need. i supposed to make early plays on side lanes and Bjergsen is supposed to get a CS lead and win the 1v1. And I feel like both mid laners have fulfilled his role. But I got a huge snowball in our AD carry and Hans Sama just uh, props to him, played insanely good that, uh, that game and uh, pulled out the damage uh, numbers afterwards. Yeah, and Sama popped off, and with this, you've blown this group wide, wide open. Not a lot of people had expected Misfits to do that much, per se, but Max Lore said it here yesterday. No, you know, when you go into a tournament, you're looking to win the whole thing. Um, where do you see yourself ending? And let's start with the group here. Well, so everyone expected us to be four often in this group, so it's just another another time we proved everyone wrong, just like in ELCS playoffs. Um, but now... Obviously, our eyes are on the second or first uh, seat, so next week we need to perform as good as we did this week, and I feel like we're good to go afterwards. Well, a fantastic start. One more for the fans. Uh, how many more Oriana Nasher 2 are we going to see? Uh, it depends um, how often my team believes it's good. <laughs>